Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here and this is the first time you're seeing my face, welcome. Hi, my name's Liv. Lovely to make your acquaintance. I hope that everyone's having a smashing week. I hope that everyone's doing good things, you know, going outside, getting some fresh air, eating five a day, you know, all the good things, all the good things. I hope that you're all just out there living your fantasies. I feel like I ramble on too much in these intros. I bet you're all screaming at your screens right now like, girl, get on with it. We don't care. So I will, I will get on with it. So if you guys didn't know already, which how could you not? I'm a little bit obsessed with TikTok. It has definitely turned into a rather unhealthy addiction. I can't stop making TikToks, I can't stop watching TikToks. It's my most used app and that's, frankly, it's kind of embarrassing. My obsession with TikTok has definitely changed me. And one of the things it has made me realize is that I want to be an e-girl. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an e-girl makeup transformation. I've already got this black top on to kind of, you know, send out those e-girl vibes and I've got these you know, quirky earrings on. So I just wanna put it out there, like disclaimer before we get into this video, that this video is not made to offend anyone. It's literally for fun. I just wanna change up my makeup. This isn't my usual style. I wish it could be. I wish I had enough confidence to wear this makeup like every day. But I don't think I have that level of confidence. I'm probably gonna mess up and it's probably gonna not even turn out looking like an e-girl, but I guess we'll see. I'm just trying, I'm just playing around, I'm just messing around. Don't take it too seriously. Oh, And I really actually wanna do more videos like this where I turn myself into different styles and different aesthetics. I think that could be really fun to play around with my look. And maybe I'll land on one and be like, this is me. This is me right here. Let's just get into it because I've been filming for eight minutes now and I haven't put a single product on my face. So the first thing I'm gonna work on are my eyebrows. Now, e-girls have very... Well, they have eyebrows like that. My eyebrows, they kind of point down, but I need them to point up like that. So first of all, I'm gonna take my facial razor and just shave my brows just to kind of neaten them up. And I might shave a little bit off the ends. I've already done this. I have been shaving my brows for a couple of weeks now. So I somewhat know what I'm doing. I'm starting underneath my eyebrows just to get rid of some of these hairs at the bottom that we don't want. And then I'm gonna move on to the tail. My eyebrow hairs actually grow back really quickly when I shave them, so I'm not too worried. But I'm not gonna go overboard with the shaving because I do want to have an eyebrow. I might leave it there with the eyebrow shaving. I just wanted to tidy them up a little bit. But I'm gonna stop there because I don't wanna shave off my entire eyebrow. And I'm really scared that I will because I don't know when to stop. So now I'm gonna fill my eyebrows in, making sure that they kind of curve more upwards, if that makes sense. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva Brow Spectrum Palette and I'm gonna take the darkest shade and I'm just gonna use that to fill in my eyebrows. What I might do quickly is also actually glue the tails of my eyebrows down just because I want to create a new tail. So I'm gonna go in with some Pritt stick and just cover up the tail of my brow. Honestly, if you're looking for a really in-depth tutorial on how to do this, I don't know if you should be watching this video because I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm not sure how professional this is. I would advise using the Elmer's The Purple Glue, but I don't live in America, so it's harder for me to get my hands on that, so I just go in with Pritt Stick. And it does the job, so I'm not gonna argue. And then I'm taking this brush here, and I'm just combing my brows upwards, because I want to make sure that they're flat against my head. I'm just on the third layer of glue now. So now that the tails of my eyebrows are glued down, I'm gonna go in with some of this Revolution Bake and Finish Powder. And then I'm just pressing this on top of the Pritt Stick. Just like that. Wow, okay. That looks normal, doesn't it? I'm gonna be taking my ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Peach to cover up this white powder that we've just put down.
and then I'm just taking my Real Technique sponge to blend that in. So now the tails of my eyebrows are covered up. It will look a lot better when we have the rest of my base makeup on because I do look slightly bonkers right now. Trust the process. Now I'm just gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna draw on a new tail for my brow. Don't worry if it's messy at this point because we can clean up the brows with some concealer. Okay, so now that we have these ridiculous brows, I just wanted to pack all the color on. Don't even look at them. This is really embarrassing. I look really special. I look like a werewolf, so that's really attractive. I'm gonna go in with some concealer and just carve them out to get a better shape. I'm just taking these, these? <laughs> I'm just taking my concealer on an angled brush and just carving around my brows. That's already looking so much better. I'm just taking my concealer above my eyebrows as well. Okay, so these eyebrows are different shapes. Which one do I prefer? Why do they look so different? Okay, I think I'm happy with the eyebrows. That took me so long, that took me ridiculously long. That took me like half an hour to do both my eyebrows. That's ridiculous. And they don't even look equal, so that's really fun. So I'm quickly gonna prime using my e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer. I literally do this in every video, so I feel like I don't even need to talk you through it anymore. Pretty self-explanatory anyway, to be honest. So now I'm gonna move on to foundation and I'm gonna be taking my splash, my what now? Now for foundation, I'm gonna be taking my Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 1.05. This stuff is so matte and so full coverage. And I love it. I love it for that. And then I'm just gonna start blending that in before it dries down using my Real Techniques sponge. Just making sure that that's really blended in nicely. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I'm just concealing in all the areas where I normally conceal and I'm also using it to highlight my T-zone. And then just blending that in. Now I'm gonna be setting that with this RCMA No Color Powder. RCMA No Color Powder. Making sure any creases are blended out first. Obviously we don't wanna set any creases. And I'm just gonna take that under my eyes, on my chin, just to set basically where we put the concealer. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm taking this on a large fluffy brush. So before I continue with the rest of the face makeup, I'm actually gonna move on to the eyes next. Let's choose a palette first. Ah, almost dropped it, wow, that was scary. So before I start any eyeshadow, I'm gonna be priming my eyes using my P. Louise base. So for my eyeshadow look, I'm gonna be dipping into my James Charles X Morphe eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna start off by dipping into this bright red here. And using a precise brush, I'm just blending that into my crease. Now I'm gonna dip into this shade here. And I'm taking this shade on a fluffy brush and I'm using it to blend out the edges of the red. I'm just using little circular motions to blend that out. To deepen the crease even more, I'm gonna go in with this dark maroon shade. 
and this is going to be blended right into the crease just to add a bit of depth. Taking my P. Louise base once again, I'm going to be cutting the crease. So now that my crease is cut, I'm going to be dipping back into this red shade and I'm going to be using that to set the cut crease. I'm just taking this red on a flat packing brush and packing that colour on. I'm now going to be taking some of this black shade and I'm just blending that with the red. And I'm just starting to wing that black shade out. I'm going to actually switch to a black liner and this is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. And I'm going to use this to finish off the wing. I'm just taking some concealer on the edge of the wing just to tidy it up. So now that the top of the eye is done, I'm going to take this red shadow underneath and just blend that out slightly. And I'm going to take this black pencil eyeliner, I don't know where it's from, it's really old, and I'm just going to use this to line my waterline. I actually completely forgot to do the wing on the top, so I'm going to go back now with the black eyeliner and just connect it into my inner corner. I'm going to take that eyeliner and do kind of the fox eye trend with it by just pulling it down into my inner corner just like that. And I'm going to add a bit more black to my lower lash line. I'm now going to draw some big lashes on the lower lash line. Okay, so I finally finished one eye, so I'm gonna apply some mascara now, and I'm gonna go in with my Lash Paradise, no. So now I'm gonna apply some mascara, and I'm gonna go in with my Essence Lash Princess. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a lash. I have no idea what style these are, but I know that they're from Unicorn Cosmetics. So I'm just going to go off camera quickly and finish up the other eye and then I will be back. So now that both eyes are done, I'm going to actually add a slit to my eyebrow because this is fun. So I'm going to take my concealer and a little detailing brush. And I'm just going to draw a line with the concealer to act as a slit. <gasps> that looks so cool. I love how that looks. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <gasps> I love it. I'm just gonna do another slip because I can't stop myself. That looks so cool. <gasps> okay, this is coming together. This is definitely coming together. Now I'm gonna go back into the face makeup and work on the face. So I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Ultra Pro HD Powder and Contour Kit. She's very broken. And I'm going to take a mixture of this shade and this shade just to contour my face. And I'm taking that on a fan brush. Just because it fits nicely into my cheekbone. I'm also going to take that on my forehead a little bit. And up into my hairline. Taking a smaller flat brush, I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to be bronzing using my Maybelline City Bronzer. 
This is in the shade Medium Warm. And just taking that and blending that onto my cheekbones. A little bit on my nose. And then some on my chin as well, and my jawline. I'm now gonna go in with blush, and I'm gonna be taking my Roxy X Revolution blush kit. I think I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of this red shade, it's very bright. I just want the tiniest bit, I'm literally just tap, that's it. And I'm gonna add that to my cheeks. I'm not bringing it too far forward, I, I'm being quite careful about the placement so that I don't pull it too far into the centre of my face. I'm going to take some of that on my nose as well. And some of my chin. So next we have highlight and I'm going to go into my Revolution Pro 4K highlighter palette in the, ro eh, in the rose gold version. And I'm going to be taking a mixture of this shade and this shade. Oh, that's so stunning. That is gorgeous. So reflective, I love that. And just taking some of my Cupid's bow and my nose. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone as well. So before I finish off with lips, I'm just gonna take some black eyeliner and do some little, some details. I don't know what they're called. So I'm just gonna do like a little cross. A little upside down one, that looks cool. And then over this side, I'm gonna do a heart. <gasps> yes, I love. Okay, so now we need some lipstick. What color am I gonna use? I, I really don't want to wear black lipstick, I'm not going to lie. This colour maybe? Maybe this one? This one might be better. This is the Revolution Amazing Lipstick in the shade Simmer. So I've just really overlined my top lip. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyeshadow just to darken up the edges and kind of get an ombre. And now obviously my application was really messy so I'm gonna go and clean it up using some concealer. Okay, so my lips are done now. They actually look pretty good. I love this look. I think this turned out so pretty. I, I'm obsessed. I literally am obsessed with this. Um, let me just sort out my hair, see if we can get some e-girl hair going on. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. I look completely different to how I started, and I love it. I love everything about this, everything. I'm obsessed. I would do this every day if it didn't take me four hours to do. I would do this every day but it took four hours and I don't have time to be doing that. If you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and also ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok because they are the social medias that I use the most. Comment down below any video ideas or suggestions you want to see from me in the future. I would be happy to do anything within reason, obviously. Tell me what you think of this transformation. I think I did good, like I do look like an e-girl, I reckon. I reckon I need like a nose ring, but I don't have a nose ring, which kind of sucks. I might get my nose pierced. Comment down below if I, you think I would look good with a nose piercing, like a little stud. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. My hands are so messy. I need to go wash them.